All right, so the star of this video is Spot, the fox so named for the black dot at the base of her tail. Now she first introduced herself by raiding the weasel boxes that my science class had set out for projects. And at the first check of this trapping season, the morning of the 11th of November, I noticed that the boxes had been rolled over and chewed. Something was trying to get inside. Now the tracks said fox, but I wanted to set up the trail camera to see. So in addition to the camera, I set up a mock set where there was no trap first, with a little bait outside the weasel box to bring in whatever it was, again, presumably a fox, to see what was going on, to see what we could learn from it. And as it turns out, old Spot there taught us quite a bit. If you're a fox trapper like I am, you probably already noticed her doing some things that you would expect. You might have noticed her doing some things you didn't expect. To me, that's things like walking in human trails, where an entire science class of kids has been, sniffing weasel boxes that are loaded with human scent. She didn't even mind getting hemmed in by brush. Heck, she pushed right through it all. She is a wild fox, though, and she did do fox stuff, like making sure she checked the back door, making sure there wasn't any other possible easier way to get the paint. It's a good lesson on your backing. Now, with all the science class activity going on, we did leave a lot of scent, and we got busted more than once you'll see in this clip where she finally got a nose full of something she doesn't like. Now remember, this didn't really start out as a fox set, but whew, she's out of there. One thing about fox is that when they approach your trap, they often plant their feet and lean in to either smell or steal the bait. Spot's going to do it right here. There it is. We're going to see her do that again, but the point is, that is where you want your trap right where they plant to lean in. Now Spot always preferred, it seemed from all the footage, to come in from the left side. Her nose is right where I've been putting the bait and where I plan to make the snow hole set with the trap. And here comes that lean again. She starts with her favorite approach from the left. Checking things out. Plant and ooh. I want to revisit a freeze frame from that last clip there. Now see, right where her nose is, the tip of her nose, there's a little snowbank to the right of that birch tree. That is where I planned at this point to dig the hole, put the bait in, set my trap. Five inches out from the hole, five inches left offset for her approach. Another thing about Spot is that she was right-footed in the sense that she leads with her right. See how she's supporting her weight with that right front? Well, normally just the snow and the dirt and tracks can tell you these kinds of things. This time I had the luxury of the video. At any rate, you've got to adjust your tactics if you want it to work. With Fox, you can't ever quit paying attention. If you do, they'll bust you. So apparently... As you can see here, she got a whiff of something near that box that was lights out. She did not come back that morning. Now the following night, in the wee hours of the 13th, she came back again. Pick up a few pieces of some bait she had scattered earlier. There she goes. Made one more quick check of the previous bait site. And then she was gone until the next night. So the next night, the night of the 13th, the trap is bedded. It's nice and solid, so it'll jump up out of the snow. The bait is in the hole. I didn't use any lure, because she was obviously coming back on her own. But everything was set. Had the wax paper in place, the snow was sifted over everything just right. No lumps, no melted stuff to freeze. And she came back twice before 11 o'clock. She still wasn't sure. Now, if you're asking me, I think she knew something was a little different than it had been. Well, she sure was right about that. Now, fox are animals, and they eat. And that pre-baiting, I think, plays a big factor in bringing them back, even when they think something's a little different. In this case, she definitely came back. And 
nice acrobatics there. So let's play that again. Take a look at some stuff. First, there's that lean again. And there's a good illustration of pan tension. Not enough, your trap could go off early. Too much, you get a smarter fox with a face full of snow and an empty trap to take home. Also on display is the anchoring. And now, that wire or chain, or both, is going to get some serious stress. Just take a look at that. Make sure you use an anchoring system that's not only solid, but is prepared for an animal bigger than you think. Now take a look at this. Look at the leverage she's exerting on that trap. That was like fox yoga. And then with one more slow-mo of the catch here, we'll leave it there. Hope to come back this season with a bunch more videos. Maybe some more in-depth looks at things. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll keep the videos coming.